Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. So our current air temperature comes in at 92 degrees. Oh, it's up a degree. 70 our dew point. We have an east northeast wind coming in at six. A lot of sunshine out there as we head into the afternoon. I think we'll see a few more fair weather clouds build and our uh, daytime high temperatures will top out yeah, about where we are a few degrees warmer. Generally speaking around the area, we are in the upper 80s. We have 88 Mayaka Lakewood Ranch at 89 90 in Parrish and Bradenton. 88 in Arcadia, 89 in Wachula, 88 in Northport, 87 in Venice, Inglewood. You've got 86 degrees and out at the key at Longboat. Nice and cool at 84. We're going to develop an onshore wind flow today, and that's kind of key to the forecast. The onshore wind flow with a sea breeze building will push most of our convection into inland areas. We still have a weak trough of low uh, pressure, and we continue to watch this cluster of showers back to the west. Larry of low pressure there is one that uh, one that the Hurricane Center is looking at out of five across the uh, across the Gulf and Atlantic basins right now. Uh, this one has very little chance of any kind of development, but we'll continue to watch it and see what happens with it. Also, uh, Juliet continues to spin around as well. Still a tropical storm. It regained intensity. Now, the thing is, it's so far away from radar here that it looks like just a little teeny blob, but it's raining cats and dogs in places out here in the far offshore Atlantic waters. All right now, everything's very quiet. We don't have much going on nearby us up in the Big Bend region. Gulf waters, we have showers ongoing, but locally everything is very quiet, as I said. Now, east of the interstate, in a couple of hours, I expect to see some showers build. They'll generally build and rain out either close to in place or have a slight drift inland as they die out. We'll watch uh, our low pressure area kind of disintegrate, I think, over the course of the weekend into the beginning of next week. Spin will go away. The rain showers will go away. There's still no watches or warnings, despite the fact that it was upgraded once again to a tropical storm and will probably be downgraded again to a tropical depression. We have the onshore wind flow that will uh, continue to push right straight through the weekend, push most of the rain showers into well inland areas. It's very weak and variable wind flow, but in the afternoon it does develop out of the southwest with a sea breeze building, maybe even turn a little northwest with time. Light winds, we'll call it. Afternoon sea breezes each and every day for the next several days, and then calm, relatively calm weekend weather. Don't really expect to see any severe weather outbreaks across Florida. Don't expect to see any tropical real influences across the state over the weekend, so another nice weekend in store for us. There's the cluster of storms. The low-level circulation occurring right here is kind of removed from the main amount of thunderstorm activity, so that's, uh, that's kind of interesting to see, a good indication that it's undergoing some shearing winds, plus some dry air. The two things together make it real tough for a storm system to do much. Uh, what's left of Ian has been downgraded into a non-tropical system now, post-tropical we call it, and we have two other systems that we watch off the coast of Africa, Carl, of course, and also a tropical wave that has pretty good long-term chances for development. Both of these storm systems are forecast in long-range computer models to turn north into the open waters of the Atlantic, but we'll watch that and see what happens, just how long it takes. We'll probably be watching these for about another two weeks, and then there's that one near Texas that really doesn't have much of a problem for us. Again, Julia uh, continues to kind of meander around, making it real tough to forecast, but probably hook back out into open waters of the Atlantic. Forecast for us looks pretty good for boating. I would, I would say it's a nice boating forecast. Northwest wind coming in at about five knots, bringing you smooth conditions on Bay and Inland waters with less than a two-foot sea. That's nice. And uh, over the course of the weekend, I think we'll pretty much have light winds as well. About a 40 to 50 percent chance of showers for the next day or two. And then as we head into next week, we'll hold it at about the same with daytime highs in the low 90s. Scott.